This tutorial looks at acids and alkalis and the reaction that they have together called neutralization, which makes a salt. It also looks at higher level at that neutralization reaction, the fact that acids contain H plus ions and alkalis contain OH minus ions, and the reaction between them produces water. So how can we tell that we have an acid or an alkali? Well, we could use a simple indicator such as litmus, methyl orange or phenolphthalein. Each of these give just two colours, one usually for acid and one for alkali. However, they don't necessarily have sudden changes and the change, for example, for phenolphthalein may not be at neutral at pH 7. Universal indicator is what's called a complex indicator and it gives us a range of different colours uh, to tell us not just whether a solution is acidic or alkaline but also how strong an acid or an alkali it is. It uses what's called the pH scale which is a scale that runs from 0 on one end to 14 at the other. In the centre is pH 7 which is a neutral solution. As the pH becomes lower the acid becomes stronger acid and as it becomes higher it becomes a stronger alkali. This chart shows us the pH of some common substances. Dead centre we have pH 7 which is pure or distilled water. As we move through the weak acids for example of orange juice and lemon juice we go towards uh, the very strong acids like battery acid which is sulfuric acid. In the alkalis we have weak alkalis such as baking soda and ammonia solution through to the very strong alkalis such as drain cleaner which is sodium hydroxide. This pH scale actually measures the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution, these H plus ions which are found in all acidic solutions. All acids contain H plus ions, whereas all alkalis contain OH minus ions. But here's a distinction between bases and alkalis. A base is a substance that will react with an acid to make a salt and water only. But some bases are soluble, other bases are not. If we think of bases, as being all of the substances that will neutralize acids, a subset of these are the alkalis. These are the bases which dissolve. They're soluble. When we react a soluble base, an alkali, with an acid, we call it neutralization. And we use this method of titration. We normally start with a fixed volume of the alkali, sodium hydroxide in this case, measured into a conical flask. We add a few drops of a simple indicator like phenolphthalein. In this case it will turn pink in the alkali. When we add enough hydrochloric acid to that, then the indicator will suddenly turn colours, showing that the solution has become just neutral. At that point, we can read off the volume of hydrochloric acid that we've had to add to neutralize the alkali. Should we want to do the reaction a second time, we now know how much volume of hydrochloric acid is needed to neutralize that particular volume of sodium hydroxide. So second time round, we don't need to have to add an indicator. In this case, the acid will have reacted with the alkali to make a salt and water only. Heating up the contents of the flask, for example in an evaporating basin, will drive off the water and leave crystals of the salt. All acids such as hydrochloric acid, HCl, nitric acid, HNO3, and sulfuric acid, H2SO4, contain hydrogen ions. If we write down the ions which are in each of these, we can see that all of them contain these hydrogen ions. 
the sulfuric acid containing two hydrogen ions per formula. Alkalis such as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide contain the hydroxide ion. Sodium hydroxide contains the sodium ion and the hydroxide ion, potassium hydroxide, the potassium ion and the hydroxide ion. It's the H plus ion in acids that make them acidic and it's the OH minus ion in alkalis that make them alkaline. In the reaction between hydrochloric acid HCl and sodium hydroxide NaOH to make sodium chloride the salt NaCl plus water H2O we can consider each of these substances as being made out of ions. The hydrochloric acid contains the H plus and the Cl minus ion. The sodium hydroxide contains the sodium ion and the hydroxide ion. Sodium chloride, which is soluble, consists of the sodium ion and the chloride ion, whereas water consists of molecules of H2O. Then we look at which ions actually haven't changed in the chemical reaction. Well, when we look at the sodium ion, it starts off as an Na+, and ends up as an Na+. So we can call that a spectator ion and take it out of the equation. Similarly, the chloride ion starts off as Cl- and ends up as Cl-. So when we look at what's actually reacted, it's the H+, from the acid, reacting with the OH- from the alkali to make water. Here's a second neutralization reaction. Here sulfuric acid H2SO4 is reacting with a different uh, alkali, this one's potassium hydroxide KOH, to make potassium sulfate which has the formula K2SO4 and water which is H2O. Initially this doesn't balance so we have to add in some additional numbers. As you can see, there's two potassiums on the right-hand side, so we need two on the left. And now we've got four hydrogens on the left-hand side, so we need four on the right. Writing this one in ions, on the left-hand side, we've got two hydrogen ions and a sulfate ion reacting with two potassium ions and two hydroxide ions to make two potassium ions and a sulfate ion along with two molecules of water. Looking for spectator ions again, the sulfate ion appears on both sides unchanged and the two potassium ions also appear on both sides unchanged. So the reaction is really between two hydrogen ions and two hydroxide ions making two molecules of water. Exactly what we saw before but doubled. In fact any acid will react with any alkali making uh, molecules of water because it's the H plus ions in the acid reacting with the OH minus ions in the alkali making water in the neutralization reaction. Here's a past exam question on acids and alkalis. Jack investigates some reactions of dilute sulfuric acid. Jack adds some sodium hydroxide solution to some dilute sulfuric acid. Sodium hydroxide is an alkali. The pH value of the acid increases as the sodium hydroxide is added. Explain why the pH value increases. We could say it is being neutralized. The pH increases because uh, sodium hydroxide is an alkali. A salt is made when sodium hydroxide reacts with dilute sulfuric acid. What's the name of this salt? Well, the name of the salt comes from the name of the acid and the name of the alkali. Sulfuric acid always makes salts called sulfates. 
The first part of the name, however, is going to come from the alkali. So in this case, the salt is going to be called sodium sulfate. Jack also uses the internet to investigate sulfuric acid H2SO4. He finds out that dilute sulfuric acid contains ions. One of these is the sulfate ion SO4 2 minus. Write down the name or formula of another ion found in dilute sulfuric acid. Well, when we look at the formula, it's made up of an SO4, but it's also made up of H2. And this has two hydrogen ions. So the other ion found in sulfuric acid is the H plus ion, which is found in all acids.